until now, um, put my channel together and with the only intention really was just to, to film some of my runs and, and things and, uh, and get it all posted up somewhere. Um, and it seems to be, you know, people start to take a little bit of notice and watch and whatever, and that's great. My intention was just to have a bit of fun with running and filming um, and exploring. I know the, the channel is a mix of all sorts of different things, um, but I just want to bring it back to a bit of, uh, a bit of good stuff, you know. Um, I've got lots of information. Uh, I've been teaching breathing for a long while, um, specifically around running. Um, I'm a trail runner, I'm an ultra runner, and um, so I think I want to pass some of that knowledge over. Uh, so I've talked about this a little bit before, and we're going to do a bit more of that, that sort of stuff, which is good. So there's two big complaints I hear. Um, well, not really complaints, but questions. And number one is, what is um, the best way to breathe while running? And the other one is, I hear this all the time, when people say, oh, I can't get enough oxygen in. I feel like I'm drowning and I'm huffing and puffing while I'm running. So I'll tackle that one first because quite simply, the way the body works, without going into all the nitty gritty details, is that you need carbon dioxide because carbon dioxide pulls the oxygen away from blood and sends it to the muscles. Now, you have always got more than enough oxygen inside your system. You might think you don't have enough oxygen, but you do, trust me. If you put a pulse oximi ox oximeter a pulse oximeter, pulse oximeter, pulse, pu if you put one of those machines on your finger that measures oxygen in the blood, you will find at any time you've got between 95 and 98%, okay? So it's not that you don't have enough oxygen. The problem is, is that you're offloading too much carbon dioxide when you're huffing and puffing and, you know, heavy breathing you're losing too much of the good stuff. And you need that shit. So, you've got to calm it down, you've got to restrict the amount of airflow that goes out. And the simplest way to do that is just to slow down and breathe through your nose, in and out through your nose. Okay, because you've got a CO2 receptor in your brain that Basically, right, the, what happens is lack of oxygen, build up of CO2 equals death, right? So your CO2 re receptor in your brain is a very useful thing because <laughs> it reminds you to breathe. Now, the fact that it's screaming at you to take a breath is not because of the lack of oxygen, it's because of a build-up of CO2. CO2 weighs, you, you know, you, you can only take a certain amount of weight, but you can train that receptor just like anything else, okay? And you train it specifically by running um, and breathing in and out through your nose, okay? Simple. Like, do a test. If you can't run now for 20 seconds at an easy pace, breathing in and out through your nose, then there's a problem. So there's a few more tests you can do on this, and I'll post up some videos further on so that you can actually test where you are, you can measure this, and you can work on building CO2 tolerance. It's key. It's the lowest hanging fruit that you can jump on to upgrade and boost your athletic performance within a couple of weeks, easy. 
I went from not being able to run 200 metres breathing nasally to running a 50k race in under five hours, breathing totally through the nose, winning the race, getting a PB, being happy with life and recovering very, very quickly. In fact, I went out for a run the next day. So there's a whole heap of benefits and there's a lot to it. So I'll break a load of videos down. But the key thing is just to, even just to be aware in your daily life to start to be conscious of breathing through the nose, in and out. In through the nose, out through the nose. That's how we are designed, yeah? This is for breathing, this is for eating and communicating. So the best thing you can do is just shut your mouth and train in that way. You'll find it hard to start with, no doubt. And people give up, but people give up too early. If you stick with it for, I think it took me about 10 days before something clicked in my mind. And it was like, oh, okay, this is all right. Just relax, guy, just run. And eventually you'll get to a point where you can run in training or in a race at 80 probably 80 85 percent of your maximum capacity and that's no shit okay you can if you check out any of the world's best runners you know Mo Farah Eliud Kipchoge all these guys they're very relaxed they're breathing nasally I've only ever once seen Eliud Kipchoge um, I think when he was running in London he was pushing it so far to the limit that he opened his mouth once and dumped off a, you know, a little bit of CO2. And that, that to me said he'd got to his limit of what he could, his body could take. Um, and there's no doubt that some people have naturally got better tolerance. But the key point is you can build it. You can build a better CO2 tolerance just like any other muscle in your body. And um, just become a better athlete and have better performance so it's too um it's just too slippery on this track today to record while i was running and uh yeah a little loop round to get everything out was just what i needed to be honest so i'm done for the day so just to recap consciously become aware of breathing in and out through your nose on a daily basis Start some gentle runs and breathing in and out through the nose. When you get to a point where your mouth opens and you have to start taking a breath in, you've reached your capacity. So have a look what sort of pace that is and, or you know, time it's taking you to get there and just knock it back a little bit. I think the problem is with a lot of this stuff is ego gets in the way and people want to run fast and they're worried about Strava, about what people are going to say. Um, but don't worry about all that stuff because eventually people, people will be going wow oh, they're getting quick what are they doing what's the secret weapon and then you can tell them nasal breathing while running who would have knew